I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name Come to the table Cup running over Come drink your fill Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Christy and I am an alien abductee. In full disclosure, I must warn you before I share my story that this video content can be considered quite graphic and may be traumatizing or triggering to some people. This video includes abduction, possible sexual abuse, rape, and coercion. I am doing a series on my abductions. If you want to listen to more of my experiences, then please go the link below. I have been an abductee since as early as I can remember. I have memories as early as four years old. I remember assuming that it was normal to be abducted at night to go visit your family in Skye, or to go under the earth within the underground cities in which they dwell. I thought this was everyone's reality. It was concerning when I found that this was not true. I have been abducted by the beings known as the Nordics and the small greys that are known to be their worker bees. I find myself sitting on a large bed twice the size of the California King, but it was very close to the floor, closer than a normal bed would be. There are these very thick, soft blankets that I am sitting on. I am sitting on the edge of the bed, near the foot of the bed, on the right side. My feet and are hanging down, and I am looking down in the direction of my feet as I become aware. I see that my black undershirt is off that I was wearing when I went to bed. I then notice my bare breasts. I then glance up and I see the familiar face of a very large naked man that I refer to as the giant with the illuminated blue eyes. His eyes were really far apart because his head was so big that it gave me that sent shivers down my spine. The fear just overwhelmed me every time I looked at him. He is around seven feet tall and looks like a Greek god on steroids. His skin is like that of the lightest ivory skin, and his hair is so blonde that it looked almost transparent. His face also looks sort of Nordic because his nose is shorter and flatter, wide jawline, and has very defined features and cheekbones. His neck is thick, and his head is much larger than a typical human, as I mentioned before. When he first looked at me, I immediately know he is not fully human. He never shows any facial expressions, but that does not mean they do not have feelings. They speak telepathically and relay feelings and communicate or relay those feelings telepathically as well. It is so much more intense and intimate. Although in this memory, this was the first time he spoke to me with his mouth. Usually he would speak to me telepathically. Anyhow, as I become self-aware and realized where I am, I looked down and he was sitting on a couch two steps down from the bed on the right, with a large table that was kind of low, considering how high the couch was. It was not like any couch I have ever seen. It was large and went back really far like it was billed for someone tall, and if I was sitting on it, my feet would be hanging off the edge legs, swinging and not touching the ground if I was on it. The table was made of stone, I think, and it came out of the ground like it was carved right out of the mountain and it was beige colored. As I looked beyond the couch and table, there were some more stairs that would go straight down about five large steps. This is when I see at least three children laughing, running, and playing. Somehow, I just know at least one of these children are mine. He blocked me from remembering what they looked like, but I remember everything else. Then slash, I look down and see my black t-shirt laying next to me. I go to put on my t-shirt that I sleep in, and he puts his hand up and says to me, Stay as you are, in a commanding but calm voice. It was the first time I could remember hearing his voice. At first it startled me. I look at him and then looked in the direction of the stairs. Then I said to him, But there are children down there insinuating that it was unethical and wrong to be sitting naked in front of the little ones. Just as I said that, he looks down at the children and then turned to look back at me and stopped right before he turned the entire way. I could sense his confusion about the comment I had just made while questioning him. 
I have come to understand our ways are not their ways. They have no shame or moral ethics as we do. He must have put me back under mind control again, because the memory ends there. These beings are not from outer space. They have always been here. If you would like to know more, please watch my Alien Abduction series. I have more information about who these beings are in my series. If you have had a supernatural experience and you would like to share your story, please write me at battlebornbelievers.com. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name Come to the table Cup running over Come drink your fill I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name